So we at uh, Rockchip here at HKTDC Fair, and you are launching a new processor. Uh, yeah, actually uh, we have uh, this new one we call the single core terminator, the RK twenty nine two A. It's uh, so far the the best performance single core product. Uh, with a one gigahertz uh, ARM Cortex A nine and and all the you know, stuff already in there. But the, the, the biggest point is actually it integrate the codec, integrate the LVDS, integrate the uh, uh, HDMI. So make the total bond cost very very low. So we so we can say that's why we call it Terminator. So so the single core I think is the highest performance, lowest cost. 29 So next year you will see why millions, tens of millions of this chip product. Tens of millions. Yeah, definitely. So is it going to be the most popular rock chip until now, or is this uh, going to be more popular? No, this one is also very popular. The RK3666. It's a dual core 1.6 gigahertz. Uh, it's actually doing very well right now, and uh, soon we'll have the 28 nanometer uh, companion, 28 nanometer chip coming out. Uh, lower the cost, higher performance, lower power, and at the end of the year we'll have the core core 28 nanometer product coming out. So next year you will see Rock you got the single core terminator, dual core with the mass. Uh, market and the core core, so it has one to four. So all one to four. Line, right. The twenty eight nanometer is only quad core. No core core and dual core. And dual core. Yeah, we will we, we'll see how yeah. these things uh, will position all this chip. So are these two in the same family? Uh, you mean in the design, design of uh, this and that. Is it same? It was Cortex A nine both, right? Yeah, they're both all Cortex A nine, uh, but there's a single core, a dual core with better GPUs and uh, this forty nanometer. So this is quad core Mali four hundred. Oh uh, yeah, and this. Uh, you guess. I guess. <laughs> single core quad uh, Mali four hundred maybe. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. that the. But it's Mali four hundred. Leave them as a mystery. Mystery, yeah. but so there's a GPU, good GPU here. Yeah, it's good GPU. And uh, when is this on the market? Uh, it's a, uh, it's launched now. Mm. Launching now. Yeah, you can see 100 DIF devices in this uh, Hong Kong Electronics Store already. So it will provide the cheapest uh, single core solution. The cheapest Cortex A9 in the world, no? Yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure, it's impossible to compete. No way. No, no way. <laughs> So th this is like a big, big focus to, to get the price down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, basically we see the field value ramping up, but uh, the bottom is still quite big market. So that's what we. It's not just the. It's also the integration and easier for manufacturing. Yeah. So what do you think about the Nexus Seven? Nexus Seven is a great product, but. Uh, it's just like I think Google don't make any profit, so I, I don't know yeah. how this thing will go along. Yeah, also, how Google will fare in the next seven with other partners. Yeah. I mean, they they want to promote now the Android tablet against yeah. iPad. It's and actually, uh, this year, uh, I think for the uh, for a lot of statistics, they didn't they didn't account this white box one. They actually got 50 million. This year, I think next year will be 100 million. So if you're adding this thing up, this year the iPad and the Android tablet already crossed. So Android tablet is selling more than more iPad. Than iPad this for year sure. already, for sure. For sure. Because but, but just, just a lot of statistics didn't count this thing. How, how do you how do you get the statistic? How, how uh, do you know? Because we know that like, we how many we ship and our competitors ship. So asking ARM, they know yeah. the royalty report and see how much they are creating. Yeah, they know exactly. They know exactly, but they don't tell everybody. Uh, I think nobody asked them. <laughs> nobody asked them. Maybe they can tell. Right, they but can tell. Right, they can tell. So, because you know, on, on a lot of American blogs, everybody think only iPad is selling. Nobody's no, selling. No, no, it's definitely not, not true. true. No, no, true. There's a, if you see all this kind of tablets, I think none of them are on the statistic of those guys. None of them are what, sorry? On the on statistic. The, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, the, like Gartner. Right, Gartner, uh, IDC. ID, ID, they, 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 don't, yeah. they never visit Shenzhen or what? They visit, but they just don't know how to... Because I think it's hard to put a number on. So, 100 million. We're talking big numbers right now. Next year. Next year. Next year, this not year, this year. 50 million. 50 million Android tablets. Yeah, no, white box. White box. If you're adding Amazon, adding Google, I think maybe 70 million. So, 80 million. So, 50 million white box. Right. 
and which market is getting most of those? Is it mostly China? No, actually China is a big chunk of it. About in America, in US, you see it's a gift market. You know, see $99 tablet and maybe just a gift in Europe. And now it's a developing country like uh, Russia, you know, India, Southeast Asia, Middle East, you know, South America, it's all over the place. So, so you think a big booming. So uh, your business, uh, let, let's walk over here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So your, your business is making the processor, right? Right. But you also make uh, kind of like reference design? Yeah, the turnkey solution, right? We're trying to make our customers' uh, life much easier, right? So, for example... Uh, so that's our customer. So customers around there? Right. But uh, what, what, uh, what, what, I mean, if you look at these, for example. There's a new trend here going on. Oh, yeah, that's the mini PCs and, uh, yeah. no, USB dongle. But the cool part is, like, you can make them, uh, this, all these devices, and, and they put it on, if you have a TV monitor, it's just adding down, it's coming, becoming a PC. And you have just adding a keyboard, you know. And so there's a, there's a whole bunch. Right. And six months ago, there was none, no? It's new. It's new. I think that uh, people seeing this. Uh, uh, I think our goal is trying to, you know, make for the poor people's first PC. That's for tablet and also this. That if they have a TV monitor, they can just plug on. It's a plumbing PC. This is a full computer. Yeah, it's a full computer. Size of a you know last year yeah, people were giving those away as a USB stick. No, it's a computer. No, because it's uh, with HDMI uh, stuff, and then you plug yeah. on TV. It's, uh, so, uh, are these using uh, uh, 29? Uh, uh, yeah, we have a single core one and a dual core one. And so dual yeah, core here? Yeah, single core single here. Core. here uh, but it's starting with 2908. Right, right, right. But uh, it's soon probably you'll see yeah. the 2928 stuff uh, or, or of a new 28 nanometer one coming out. And then, so, so, this is uh, Cortex A8. Uh, yeah, that's still the old product. A8. Yeah, A8. But it might be this soon. Yeah. 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 Because the this the, the, <laughs> the die size of uh, the the better integration of this new like it's also you no know, less power and yeah. But how's the size of the chip it's compared to the Cortex A8? It's smaller. Smaller. Yeah. How about the power consumption? Oh, also lower. Uh, is it possible so, to say because here you say thirty percent better performance? Can you say some percentage in terms of power consumption difference? If, uh, if the same power consumption, I think it's like twenty to twenty percent lower than the got uh, than the Corolla Eight one. Yeah. All right. So uh, if we uh, look over here, there's even uh, what is this? Uh, that's uh, just a TD smartphone. Uh, uh, what is what does it mean? Six eight? Is that a, a typing error? Oh uh, no no! That's actually we, we have a, a product for smartphone with a lower pack, smaller package. So we call it thirty six. So smaller package. Yeah. What else is different? Uh, and also it's optimized for the mobile power consumption. Yeah. And, uh, so this might be uh, sixty eight as well. How many how many smartphones? Uh, Our smartphone by currently we are still in the I think because uh, trying to compete with. Uh, Media tag is hard for the 3G yeah. part, but I think in the 2G era, for the 2G smartphone, we got a uh, very good opportunity. But you know. So what are you gonna do to uh, get into the into the what's it called the uh, smartphone market? Uh, I think that, that um, we have a very long view for that market. So we are also maybe one day we are doing baseband, but, but uh, it's uh, so we see it. Uh, we always. Uh, you know, working on it, but uh, when it will be really our main business, we'll carefully see. Nice. Uh, what kind of work is going on, uh, for example, here? Oh, yeah, that's the thing that you see the wear it, because it's a very cool, like, the PFP, right? But it's huge, and so you can do all kind of form of devices using this uh, popular Android system. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, that basically means that the 3066 is, has a base, great GPU. It's going to be yeah, able to play all the games. Yeah, play all the games. And, uh, is it the same GPU as Galaxy S3? 
Uh, yeah. Same speed, uh, megahertz, all that. Uh, I same think, performance. Yeah, well, same performance. Actually, we measured the the performance. Uh, it should be the the, the all the score should be like the same as the Galaxy S3. Yeah. So, so your business is making the chip, but also providing the whole. Just to make our Turnkey. customers' life easier, yeah. Right. Make it faster, faster time to market. Faster time to market. Right. So, how, how are you? Are you expanding? Do you need more employees to do that, or you get the employees to do more different things, or? Uh, I think we are doing more stuff actually because this foundation is uh, uh, can be a lot of a huge amount of applications can be done. You can do tablets, you can smartphones, so you can have this new kind of. Uh, uh, mini computers. Uh, maybe one day we get into the notebook. So you gonna get there? You can see. <laughs> uh, what do you need to do to make that happen? A software uh, problem, no? Software. I, I think that once the software environment getting mature, like the Android, and more and more, and more people are writing applications on the platform. So uh, sooner or later, the software will not be an issue. So it's just how you can make the best product out of it. Because sometimes at the fair I see Android laptops, but it's the UI is made for touch. It's not so much for so they need uh, to change it. Yeah, to yes, but if you think about it, if you just think about three or four most common applications and make it easier to use using the keyboard or the mouse, and and then you, now I think now rumors are wrong that my Microsoft might put in office to Android, right? Yeah, yeah. This, so so. It's, they should port Windows 8 to Android, I think. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, they can make a home replacement. That's just what I think. But how is a, how is a uh, memory bandwidth? Here is DDR3. Yes, and DDR3. before it was DDR2? No, we always did. For the uh, early days of 2918, it's uh, already DDR3. So. But how is the memory bandwidth compared? Compared with uh, 20, 29, uh, the 29, it's the same. Same memory bandwidth? Yeah, but 29.28 is the main. It's increased a little bit, but that's not the major part. It's the processing power, uh, the performance, uh, the, the, the power consumption, and most important, the cost. Integration. Yeah, the more integration, uh, integrate the analog components on the. On the process chip. node is still the same? It's still the same. Is that 45? Uh, it's actually 29 to 8 is 55. 55, yeah. 55, but it's more integrated. More integrated. And uh, are you showing in the uh, secret rooms, are you showing the 20, 31? No, it's all. You're not 31. showing. You're not showing 31. 31 is, uh, we keep as uh, uh, some mystery. Mystery? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. See yes? See yes, I definitely see them. Yeah. Okay.